Hey guys, welcome back to a new review of The Mentalist. This one called Red and Itchy. Now, I have to admit, I thought this episode was gonna go one direction and it went another really quickly. For some reason, I expected it to be a little bit light, a little bit more on the fun side of things, but no, it did not turn out like that. But you know what? Let's start with the story. Someone breaks into LaRoche's house again, but this time it's not Patrick. It's two thieves that steal a Tupperware and LaRoche is freaking out and asking Patrick, Patrick, find that box. Throughout the episode, we're all asking ourselves, what's in the freaking box? Turns out the box was stolen by none other than the CBI PR lady, Brenda Shetrick. 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 Let's just say Shetrick. I think that's her name. Yeah. Oops. She's been just, you know, blabbing all over town and giving CBI secrets away and La Roche was hot on her heel. So. so Patrick does his usual thing, catches Brenda, brings back the box to La Roche, and uh, towards the end, we kind of find out what was in the box. Kind of creepy. Ugh. What worked in this episode? Before I go into like the big moments, I want to start with a small moment. You know when at the beginning of the episode, when they're in the car and Patrick is sort of telling Lisbon, hey, this is what happened before, so I broke into his home, that kind of thing, and at some point, Lisbon hits him. You can actually see Robin Tunney breaks character and just has a perfect smile. Go ahead, go back and watch it. I love those moments. I don't know, it just enhances the episode somehow. I kind of like it. It was pretty cool. Moving on to the bigger moments in the story itself, it was just good to see JJ back. I kind of like LaRoche. He's just a perfect counterpoint to Jane being Jane. He's just reasonable, yet smart, but this time you kind of saw him through a new light. And But you know what? We'll talk about that a little bit later in what didn't kind of work, so we'll get to that. I also kind of liked that scene where Jane is taking the kitten and just putting them in the safe and closing them. I'm like, whoa! Animal cruelty, Jane! What the heck? I, I realized that it was a trick, but you know, you've been wrong before. <laughs> you don't want to put a cat's life in danger for that. So that was kind of funny. I don't know. Was it funny? I'm not sure. It was kind of wrong, <laughs> but I kind of laughed. I loved how they took Brenda down. It was just perfect. It was the usual kind of Patrick Jane doing his trick, but at the same time, everybody had to have their A game on this, and it just just worked just right. I like the fact that they wrapped up the whole Brenda thing. It just was weighing on me. I was like, you know, isn't she like a bad person? Are we just gonna just ignore the whole Volker incident? I like the fact that they kind of brought this to an end, but they didn't do it sloppily. They just wrapped it up in a way that was satisfying. That was pretty cool. What didn't work was at the beginning of the episode, I felt Patrick was being super snappy with Lisbon. He was like, I'm busy, what the heck, whoa. I usually like Patrick being all calm and collected, but I think this whole like hunting for Red John is getting to him somehow. Ugh. It's kind of weird. Unlike what I usually see in Patrick. So didn't quite like snappy Patrick. Not great. And the last thing is, I don't know how I feel about the whole box thing now. I was, I really like JJ, but knowing that he cut off the tongue of that guy and kept it for so long, I don't know. I mean, I understand why the character would do that. I just don't know if I feel good about it. It just, oh, it just did something at the end. I'm like, oh, do I like this character anymore? I'm not sure. It's kind of like, uh, unsure on this one. What do you guys think? Do you, do you think the whole tongue in the box is kind of, you know, changing the way you see LaRoche? You know, comment below and let me know. I'm not sure myself. I gotta think about it. Anyways, the final episode is coming up. It's gonna be epic. It's gonna be Red John themed and we don't know how that's all gonna turn out. So I thought, this episode was sort of a good transition towards that. It wasn't heavy on any big story moments. It was sort of like a palate cleanser. Something you take right before the big meal. And I think that season finale promises to be huge for us. So I'm really looking forward to it. 
I want to hear a little bit about what you thought of this episode and what you're hoping for the finale. Comment below, let me know. And as usual, if you like this video, go ahead, hit that like button. And finally, if you're new, make sure to subscribe so you can catch all the fantastically new videos that we have coming up. Until next time, bye. So y'all want to know what was in the box? Nothing. But it's a heart, because I heart you guys. Yay! <laughs> Alright guys, bye.